Danielle from Urban Dog Training and today we're going to be talking about adding another dog to your household. So whether you long to hear the pitter patter of tiny little puppy paws in your house or if you want to rescue a dog from a really unpleasant situation, the decision to add another dog to your household should never ever be taken lightly. Careful consideration and planning is needed to ensure a happy outcome for all the parties involved. Making a purely emotional decision is fraught with danger and bringing home another dog with your main motivation being to keep your existing dog company is a mammoth blunder and likely to end in disaster for everyone. Your existing dog wants more of your company and with two dogs now, it's likely that he'll spend even less time with you no matter how good your intentions are initially. So here are some things to consider before getting another dog. Do all the family agree with getting another dog? If getting another dog is going to work, then all family members need to agree that getting another dog is an excellent idea. Furthermore, they should all enthusiastically want another dog in their life rather than just think it's a good idea to keep your existing dog company. If it's going to work, then you'll need the active support and assistance of all family members. Are you about to undergo major life changes? If you're about to move home, change jobs, have a baby or end a relationship, then now is definitely not the time to consider adding another dog to your household. Your time would be better spent preparing your existing dog for the impending changes. Major life changes are stressful for everybody, including dogs, and it's unfair to place them under added pressure when they're trying to learn to live harmoniously. Are you able to look after two or more dogs financially? Just one dog can be a huge financial strain, so it's important to have a slush fund or a debt-free credit card that you can pay off in case of emergencies. Remember that many diseases are communicable, so if one dog gets it, then the other dog is likely to follow. So other costs that may blow out the family budget that you might not have considered include the cost of the new dog, training, veterinary care, vaccinations, desexing, pet insurance, boarding kennels during holidays, food, toys, council registration, flea, tick and worm prevention and control, grooming and hydrobathing, leashes, collars, tags, treat pouches, grooming equipment, bowls, bedding, kennel, crates and play pens. Does your dog actually want another dog to move in? Have you carefully considered about how your dog might feel about another dog moving in? So does your dog actually enjoy the company of other dogs and actively seek it out regularly or does your dog find other dogs offensive and annoying? Is your dog mature and stable and likely to be annoyed by the presence of another dog constantly pestering him? Or is your dog possessive with you around other dogs? Is your dog well socialized and happy and able to be calm in the presence of other dogs? Or does your dog have unresolved behavioral issues that are likely to be picked up by a new dog? Do you have time to train the new dog? Don't rely on your old dog teaching your new dog how to behave since your old dog's behaviour is likely to change with the added stress and novelty of having a new dog in the home. Are you prepared to put the time into training and socialising your new dog? You'll need to separate your new dog to give him the optimum learning environment and give him enough room to concentrate on learning new things. Training your dog separately is also integral to you developing a relationship with your new dog, which you'll need if you want him to take direction from you. Are you prepared to walk each dog separately? You'll need to take your dogs on individual walks when you get a new dog, and it's almost impossible to teach dogs to walk politely on leash when you're trying to walk two dogs simultaneously. If you'd like to take walks where you're not dragged down the street by two dogs, then you'll need to take their loose lead walking training very seriously. At the very least, you'll need the support of a family member who's willing to walk one dog while you walk the other one. And so again, the support of family members is desirable from the outset. Do you have time to groom two dogs? 
Grooming just one dog can be a chore with all the brushing, dematting, bathing, drying, nail trimming, ear cleaning. And so imagine doing this for two dogs. So if you don't have the time to do it for two dogs, then you need to at least have the finances to be able to pay someone to do this for you on a regular basis. Have you considered the extra hair in your house and car? Many people complain bitterly about all the hair their dog creates around their house, on their clothing, in their car and on their furniture. So imagine that doubled. You'll need to surrender to the fact that you'll probably never eat another hair free meal again and your friends will know you by the tumbleweeds of dog hair that roll all around your house regularly. And so of course this will mean more housework, more vacuuming and more dusting and hopefully that's okay with you. You know there's going to be extra work, right? Are you prepared for all the extra dog snot art that's going to be on your sliding doors, on your car windows and your household windows? And are you prepared to scrub up two sets of filthy muddy footprints off your carpet or mop them off your nice tiled floors? Are you happy to clean up vomit and diarrhea from two dogs and are you now happy to tolerate the level of destruction and digging that two dogs can do? And if you're intending on getting a puppy, hopefully you're prepared for all the extra work that comes along with puppies like house training. Consider too if you're happy to be woken by two dogs playing like idiots while you're trying to sleep in on a Sunday morning. Remember there's a lot of extra work involved in adding another dog to your home and being a multiple dog household that's really easy to overlook when you're excited about the prospect of adding another dog to your home. If you'd like some help for your multiple dog household, then enroll into one of our classes today. Check out our website at www.urbandogtraining.com.au. Remember, if you're enjoying our videos, then give us a thumbs up on YouTube or leave us a positive review on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you next time.